Hello friends, Nick here at Studio. And today I'm going to discuss a little issue that I seem to have with Softube Console 1 and PreSonus Studio 1. So overall, I really enjoy using this piece of hardware. Uh, the plugins, they sound pretty good and I really enjoy working in the style. But there is an issue when you start to use folders and start routing stuff through different buses. Um, when you go to arm something to record and wait for a sec and this starts to happen the selection starts to jump around and it's really annoying really frustrating uh, let's get rid of that only real solution that I seem to found right now um, in order to be able to record with a track like let me select a track that's not uh, in a folder uh, it's going to a different bus so if I do arm it it's going to start jumping around but there is a way to fix that let me get rid of this all right if we actually select this track let's uh, increase the size of this go down select this like contact track here and if we actually just set it to the to the main bus and then we arm it it won't bounce around so that's really the only solution that I found to this problem when using the console one and trying to use folders and buses and having things routed out uh, weird. Uh, if you're going to go record on any track, you just have to set the output to the main bus and not have it in a folder. And then when you're done, you can put it wherever you want, which is kind of annoying and a little bit frustrating. So I'm gonna like have to change my workflow a little bit because I was starting with this template that has all these pre-made folders and console one loaded up. So I think I'm gonna have to import uh, the template after I have my ideas down and figure it out and then bring in all the buses and stuff and do my mixing with console one, which is uh, a little, little annoying this this bug seems to have been around for a while like uh, I've searched around on the internet and I've seen other people have this issue and I guess <clears throat> it is a problem that's really uh, embedded deep into the code in studio one or something like that so it has not been fixed which is kind of annoying and frustrating and um, we'll see what happens I don't know if I will keep using the console one just because that limits how I can uh, work inside Studio One with Console One, so I might actually consider getting the uh, fader port since that allows you to control plugins in it and maybe use that instead of the Console One. We'll see what happens. So um, that's it for this video. Please like, please subscribe. I'll be coming at you in the future with some more videos. I'm just getting over a sinus infection right now, which sucks. So hopefully that's going to clear up and I can feel better and pump out some more content for you guys. All right. I will see you soon in the next video. Take care and have a great day.